Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. And I wanted to come on and talk about dairy and then other inflammatory foods. I've gotten this question a lot recently about what should I eat? I'm trying to eat really healthy. Some of these things, it seems like they're healthy, but I don't know if they're healthy or if I eat this, am I gonna still make progress or is this gonna ruin everything? Whew. Lots of loaded questions here. So the first thing when you're looking at a specific food, it's important to look at it as how it fits in with you. What your body needs is going to be different than somebody else's. For example, I am allergic to raw milk. Raw milk. I throw up from it. I can't handle it at all. But I can eat processed food or, or, or processed, processed dairy like cheese. I can eat cottage cheese. I can eat cheese. Now, does it feel really good if I eat a lot of it? No, no. But I don't vomit from it like that. So when it comes to dairy, like, is it good for me to eat dairy then? Mm, it depends. It depends on what you need the dairy for. Are you, do you need dairy for protein sources? Are you using it in conjunction with other things? Do you, are you making sure that your gut health is top notch so you can break it down? Are you not overloading your system with the dairy? Then having some dairy is probably fine. But again, if you eat too much, you can notice it. Right? Right. Yes. Hmm. So it's never just this one answer, right? It's, it's like somebody asked me, are bananas bad for you? Can I eat bananas? And I was like, depends. Are you allergic to bananas or latex or anything like that? Because then maybe, yeah, bananas are bad, but otherwise I don't see how they would be bad. You know, so it just depends. But when we're looking at foods, the one thing that I wanted to cover was the overall inflammation that some of these foods can cause in your body. So if you feel like you've been stuck, if you feel like you've been kind of stagnant with your results, I'm not, you know, seeing anything new pop through recently. Uh, I'm feeling like I'm at a plateau. What else can I do? I'm pushing myself harder in the gym. I'm doing all this other stuff. Oh, okay. Take a look at how much inflammation is in your system and look at how much food you're eating that is inflammatory. So here's the top inflammatory foods. Dairy, I know, <laughs> very mucus producing, all those things. Gluten, this is like a hot topic still sometimes. I, people still fight about whether or not this is helpful or not. And some people do just fine with it in terms of digestion it's still inflammatory for your system. Yes. So there's that. Um, sugar. <sighs> sugar. That's like gas on a fire inflammation. Soy. I don't care if it's organic or the best thing, you know, processed ever, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's, infl it's inflammatory. Nightshades. This one surprises people. Nightshade vegetables are inflammatory. These are things like eggplants, peppers, um, spices right? Potatoes, white potatoes are nightshades. Mm -hmm. Google nightshade. <laughs> All the nightshade veggies will show up. Yeah, they're inflammatory for your system. Is it as bad as dairy for your system because it's lower on the list? It depends. It depends on your system. For somebody who has thyroid issues, yeah, this can be worse. Yeah. So again, it depends on your system. This is why I always recommend you know, specific things for each person that I work with. So I'm going to put a, a link here in the comments for the next 12-week uh, challenge that I have. This is for the wait list. Um, the registration link is only sent to the wait list because I do cap out at how many women I take in this group. Um, it does fill with about 24 hours when the registration link gets released. Uh, but there's a lot of good information there. And of course, if you have other questions, let me know. More than happy to present more information that is helpful for you guys. I mean, a lot of the content that I do really is designed because I get questions all the time. I get questions messaged um, on Facebook and Instagram and emailed to me. I hear from women literally all over the world every single day that have questions on a lot of this stuff. So, yeah, so nightshades, specific for thyroid, that type of thing. And then at the bottom here, I just put like red meat, eggs, citrus, because these, again, are a little bit more specific per person. Some people can handle eggs in baked goods, but if they try and eat just like a fried egg or a hard boiled egg, oh, their system does not handle it. They get really bad heartburn or they have a big reaction to it. So again, it's dependent on what helps your system specifically. Now, if you're eating foods and you're kind of like, yeah, I kind of feel gross all the time or I get bloated every single day, which one is it that's causing the bloating? I don't know. I don't know. You gotta try them out meaning cut them all out and then add them back in one at a time to see which one it is. Oh, it sounds like a pain in the ass. Who wants to do that? No one wants to do it. 
No one wants to do that. It's just what you have to do to make sure you're identifying what it is that's bothering your system. Oh! <laughs> Isn't there a better way? No, there's not. And if you try a food sensitivity test, a lot of stuff will get lit up if you have a lot of inflammation in your system. I know, I know. So that can be frustrating. But this is a great place to start. If you're looking for other resources or recommendations on how to eat for your hormones and cycle, I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. If you don't have a cycle anymore, Female Menopause Solution, this is also on Amazon for you. And then I have my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy, um, where you can subscribe to that to stay updated on all the things I have coming out. And then my podcast is called The Female Health Solution. So. Lots of good episodes coming out. Again, if you guys have questions or want me to cover a topic either in a podcast or do a specific video on it, do not hesitate to reach out to me. If you've been stuck on a question and you're like, gosh, that just feels like a stupid question, I promise it's not a stupid question. I promise. Um, I Again, I get a lot of questions and I have a running list of videos, so just let me know what you guys are looking for for next. All right, let me know if you need anything else. Otherwise, I will see you later.